Our friend's food truck's countertop has water damage. We're gonna make it look like hand-punched copper on the cheap. Let's get started. Hey, <laughs> how you doing? Scott, my problem. This isn't that bad. Step one is to pull everything out. We'll bondo the edges, the edges are gone. We'll primer it today, let it sit overnight, and then we'll come back, do the epoxy, hopefully tomorrow. All in, I think this is a three-day project. Okay. <laughs> Let's get this stuff out of here. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty nice beating up somebody else's stuff for once. <laughs> our 125 ETS and start sanding. We're gonna knock down some of these edges where the water damage was, and that'll definitely help out when we do the bondoing. Right, let me get the bondo. Cool. Oh, I could've put the stabilizer down so we weren't bouncing so much. So the Bondo is cured. We let it set up for like 35 minutes. We grabbed some lunch. We're gonna take 120. We're going to sand it down flush and then we'll put some primer on. And then we're done for the day. We do have our Vestal hooked up to our dust extraction. So as a vacuum, that's gonna get rid of all the dust. I have a call that I forgot about. So you get to paint. No, this paint isn't old. Things we should have thought of yesterday. We have the sink drop-ins. Just gonna put a bead of caulk around there. It's math time. Yay! Since we used a primer, as the bonding agent, we don't need the seal coats. So we're gonna do this at the three ounces per square foot. We'll go with 13 feet, seven, that's 20, plus five, so 25. We'll do 30 feet by two. We have a lot extra, but we have a lot of holes in the floor. I was about to say, we could dump in a lot of holes in here. 30 feet times two feet is 60 feet times three is 180. Sure. Cool. I'm gonna get the bucket. So before we get started dropping the resin, I took 220 on a sanding block and just etched the primer. Give us that bonding. We have decided we're gonna use copper, or we're gonna make it look like copper at least. We're using Stone Coat Countertops, regular countertop epoxy. We're gonna do three ounces per square foot. We're gonna go really, really heavy on the copper tinting because we wanna make sure there's extra metallics in here. And copper is not necessarily just copper. There's patina. So we're gonna throw some other colors in. So I brought a couple extra cups here. Um, we've got some hunter green paint. We're gonna mist on top of and we'll fracture that up with some 91% alcohol. And I brought in some forest green and mystic moss. Let's get mixing. Now we start with a gallon. We said we need a gallon and a half, but I wanna start with just the gallon. For those of you that don't know, a gallon is 128 ounces. And we're gonna mix it on a one-to-one -one ratio. People a lot of times ask when you're dealing with accent colors how much you want to deal with. Um, I usually go for the 10% route. A little bit of this goes a long way because we're shading, um, which is why we did not mix the copper first. Um, that being said, I'm really not. These are, these are seven ounce glasses. It doesn't need to be perfect. Getting rid of all the trowel lines. Once, once we get it all kind of messed up, you get the torch. Like that? Yeah. 
Gosh, that freaks me out. <laughs> Why does it freak you out? All over? Yeah. See how it's settling out here? You said, did I do it by mistake? And you see a little bit of the black? Yeah. Doesn't really matter, right? Well, that's why you did the black, right? That's why we did the black, right. So yeah. now let's add some green. Let me take the alcohol. Gonna etch it. I think we'll go for a gallon and a quarter. I think it looks good. It's awesome. I do like the way the edge came out because it kind of looks like somebody has been rubbing up against it. This is legitimately fantabulous. Legitimately. I heard legitimately. I like it. Let it set up for a little bit. Hmm. That's crazy. Well, I feel stupid. I finally taught you something. I know, look at that. <laughs> I did not know that. Do you know how many times I've run around the shop and found like a pencil? That's so, wow! I, I, you know, I quit. I'm going home. Right on your fresh paint job. Get over then. Go left, go left, and you're gonna hit the screw. Gotta go right. The other left. Huh? Aww. Okay, for this project, we were presented with a food trailer with water damage, and the idea was trying to figure out how to have a low cost alternative they were replacing all the countertops. And we did that. With an all-in cost of about $450, this alternative to ripping this entire trailer out. And let's not talk about downtime. We only did this project in seven days. They're gonna let it sit for another seven days and then they're back out on the road. It's a DIY friendly project and the most important and priceless part, working with one of your closest friends. This is a win-win.